Hello, welcome back to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. So in this lecture, we are going to see an example uh, about using about using uh, having uh, group by and also having clause with the one of the join like inner join. Okay, we'll see the example. So we have a uh, two table. So one it's a uh, order table and another one is employee tables and between these two tables we have a common column it's called employee ID and uh, our question would be it's like this the list list the employees we have to find out the number of employees that have registered more than one order so we have to count the order you know number of order which is more than one accru uh, you know according to the employee like we have to find that all the employees who have more than one order I mean who have been placed or registered more than one order so we have to count the order as well as we have to you know find the employees employees uh, you know each employees we have to find the each employees f uh, or according to that we have to find that uh, you know uh, total number of order and uh, the order should be only more than one it should that that's the data we're looking for so for finding each employee you know we need either first name or last name and we can group by the employee name the first name or last name that will give us the you know based on each employee and uh, and we can use uh, count we can use the count uh, aggregate function for the order id we can find the total number of order id you know uh, uh, based on each employee and we'll use uh, one of the uh, you know uh, the total count co uh, uh, order ID should be more than greater than one and since this is a two table and we have a common column which is uh, employee ID employee ID so we can use a join right so what join would be we will use this case we will use inner join because in we want to find those employees who's registered more than uh, the register order more than one so the common employees so you can say in employee ID you have a five six this is the two employee you have a five six but in in the left table we have employee four and five which is not match with the right table in the right table there is no four five employee ID or uh, or in the right table there is a three which is not matching with the left table but we want to get the you know uh, those employees which uh, which is in you know, common in between these two two table and based on the common t uh, common employee ID will find the total number of uh, order and will retrieve the total order which is more than one right so that's why we're going to use inner join let's see okay so here is a once again the question is list the employees that have registered more than one order okay so here we have we need a employee and order column uh, table let's see okay so here is it's a uh, the table it's order the first one is order and next the second one is the employee so we have again employee id 564 563 there is a 3 and 4 5 right so we're going to first we're going to we need uh we need uh say last name or first name okay from the our this table like from the right table from the uh, this is the employees table right so we'll say select employees dot say first name okay based on the first name we'll find and then what do we need from the left table we need order ID right so it's a uh, orders dot uh, we'll, we'll use orders dot orders dot or orders dot what's the order ID order ID and we need to put this one we have to count the order I order ID total you know the order we have to find right based on each employee so we have to use uh, 
count aggregate function let's give it you know let's give it a alias uh, name of that that column like like number number of orders orders okay now it's from from what table from the table it's uh, the order table orders right and then we'll say what's the uh, join it's inner inner join and what's the other table other table is employees right employees and then we'll say what's the common column between these two so it's orders dot orders dot mm, what's the employee ID employee ID equals to sh employees dot employee ID right and then we'll say group by group by last name or first name okay we say first name okay group by first name first name first name and then each this is this will find the each employee by each employee and what's the condition we want to uh, put a condition like our count this whatever the count aggregate will will find the number of order the number of order have to be greater than one so uh, this should be greater than one right so this is uh, this is we can say the condition right so when you have a condition like uh, with a condition and an aggregate function that time we can not use where you know we can't use a uh, uh, we can't use a where uh, with the aggregate function so instead of where we're going to use having having clause okay this is the rules that if you have a condition and with a condition you have a any aggregate function like count mean max you can't use where instead of where we have to use having and usually when you use a group by and 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 if you have a condition with the same same uh, uh, statement you have to use having that's like a having comes as a like a couple of with a couple uh, with a group by okay that's another clue that you know you have to use having but it's a main condition is like you if you have a uh, aggregate function in your condition you can't use a wire clause instead of you have to use having okay so let's run it here we go you can see number of orders three and then Nancy Nancy is the first name okay let's see one more time let's copy this here so that we can run all together okay here we can see our employee ID five six three so only match five five six six okay we can see five and six match three doesn't match since it's in a join it will only retrieve the data between uh, the common uh, you know the value between these two table so it's a five and six five and six and the five we have uh, you can see there is a uh, uh, order is one and for the five we have a order is another one and five have a order is another one so it's a three order but for the six we have we can see only one order so that's why it's so that's why it's saying you know according to five what is five five is the the first one is nancy nancy have the number of order is three but the six have only one order since our condition is it's uh it's looking for the data which is the order more than one that's why it didn't retrieve the data you know for the second one if you if you like put a comment oh, sorry not this one if you comment on the condition you will see it will get the other one for Andrew also which is then one here we go you can see the Andrew have a number of now it's order is one and then says three but if you use the condition it will only get for the order with the more than one which is a three okay I hope you you clearly understood and uh, 
if you have any confusion about the inner join how inner join works please see my other videos uh, regarding the join where I explain about all different type of join like uh, 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 inner join left join right join full join and also uh, I have a separate video for uh, different statement like how to use having uh, uh, clause group by uh, you know order by all those things and then you will have a better idea thank you so much and uh, you have a good one